I can tell by your smile You hadn't been with a good girl like me in a while Yeah, you were impressed Couldn't leave me alone Text me every time That you pick up the phone And I had control in the driver's seat But my hands are slipping off the wheel Now the tables have turned Now I'm up all night I'm picturing you my name is Tevin Francis. We are actually in one of my uh, my rooms in my house. Um, nobody's on yet, but we're going to go ahead and, and, and begin. Uh, this is the Weekend Blueprint. As you know, every Friday we come on and we talk about what's going on for the weekend. We give some, you know, give out like helpful information as to what to do that's family friendly. This particular program is in collaboration with the Inglewood um, with the Inglewood Department of Recreation, uh, their virtual recreation department. As you know that with everything being uh, moved virtually, the recreation department has not stopped their services for the Inglewood and Bergen County communities. They still provide programming, shows, um, tutoring. They have, um, they have all types of, uh, let me see if I could try her again. They have all types of Okay, we're trying to get our Empower Fit chick on here. Um, they have all types of available. Hey, girl. How are you? You look beautiful. Thank you. So, we're so going to you. I love the intro because I'm starting a little late and um, the show must go on. <laughs> you already know I'm going to be late. So, uh, so, yeah, so I'm just giving a brief intro. So, the Inglewood uh, Virtual Recreation Program is found at Inglewood VR on Instagram and on Facebook. They have live Tell shows, me. they have boot camps, they have um, all types of things, tutoring, teen issues, uh, uh, programs for people with autism. Um, they have uh, senior awareness, they have wellness and spirituality, all types of things so good. put on yeah, so put on by people who live in uh, Bergen County for Inglewood residents. So go ahead and give them a follow at Inglewood VR on Facebook and Instagram. And uh, tell them that Bergen and Color sent you. Okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> all right. A few things before we start with Latifah, the Empower Fit Chick. Mm -hmm. um, there is on um, October 31st, which is, you know, Halloween, there is the 17th annual fundraising event for breast cancer awareness hosted by nice. the Sisters Network of Passaic and Bergen Counties. So if you have, if you want more information, I will post that in the um, event calendar um, uh, post for the site, for the um, Inglewood page, not Inglewood page, for the Bergen and Color page. Also, um, we are gonna do a big Halloween. We did it last year. We wanted everybody to get dressed up and show us your costumes. This year, we're gonna do it again virtually as a contest. So stay tuned for details Ooh. on that. Because I I'm not that. giving out candy because I don't want to, you know, be part of the problem. That's just my own personal <laughs> um, uh, comfort level. But that doesn't mean we can't have some costume fun. So we're going to have prizes announced and all that fun stuff. So let me get that information together and we're going to do that as well. Cool. All right. One more thing. Sorry. <laughs> I'm, I'm coming. That's all right. I'm here. So I'm here. I'm mask, y'all. I was talking about I got one. Day, and Latifah has one already. So if you want one, DM me and I can get that to you. But we also, oh, we have them in black and white. And all we ask is that you tell people to vote and you follow Bergen in color. That's the only requirement for the mask. We That's also it. have shirts. So Woo, girl. Lift them. Boom, boom. <laughs> <laughs> I'm matching my lipstick with my shirt because it's Halloween. But we also have nice. shirts. The shirts are $25 because, you know, Okay, yep. so twenty five dollars for shirts, but they have vote New Jersey, and I want you guys to, um, you know, get ready for vote. merch. We're, we're we're stepping into new things, so get ready for Bergen and Color merchandise. Um, we have a nice. metal colors twenty five dollars DM Bergen and Color if you are interested in a shirt. Okay, so with that, we are going to meet Latifah Fleming. She is called the Empower Fit Chick. She is also a I called you a yoga. Per Yogapreneur, I hope you don't mind. That works. I yeah. like that. I like <laughs> it. I'm going to use that. I like it. Yeah, yoga boss. Um, she is also a ambas an ambassador to Lululemon, the mega 
brand, fitness uh, fashion brand. So Latifah, thank you for joining me today, especially on some short notice as in last night. <laughs> it's all good, honey. <laughs> Anything like, for you. never plans ahead. No, I do not. I just say, hey, <laughs> you, come on. <laughs> Anything for you, sis. It's all good. Thank you so much. <laughs> so we are going to meet you and we want to just know like your story. Um, how did you get into this fitness uh, industry and, and all of that? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Let's see. Well, first of all, um, thank you for mentioning that I'm a Lululemon ambassador. I'll mention yes. that in a second too, because mm -hmm. that's that is a big deal in a couple of ways. But I got into um, I say fitness. I got into fitness right before my son was right after my son was born. Mm -hmm. um, I've always danced though, because mm -hmm. I was always West African, and you know we got to do the whole the whole West African. <laughs> so I did that forever. Uh -huh. um, but fitness itself wasn't really into fitness mm -hmm. after my son was born it was not the greatest um delivery mm. very scary actually yeah um and it's funny because that helped to pretty much form the me now yeah. so it helped develop actually the me i was always meant to be i should yeah. say that mm -hmm. so it helped to develop who i was supposed to be okay um and after my son i decided to um this this child this human being is now mine <laughs> like, yeah. what am i supposed to do yeah. i'm supposed to be healthy and well for my child so i just started this is why i say fitness because i started with the weights and the running and i was mm -hmm. doing all these things and it was great but i now say um i shifted into wellness mm -hmm. 12 years ago because okay. it became more than just about getting some muscles and having a cute butt Though I still like both That's of those cool. things, <laughs> but it's it's more about um, like now people are like I, if I say a cute butt, I'm like yeah that's great, but are your glutes strong? Because if they're strong, they help support your back. Mm -hmm. If you know, so there are all these different kinds of things that I put into it because it's about being well. Yes, um, it's about being strong. Mm -hmm. I do not look the same way I did when I was doing all the extra weights and running all the time, mm -hmm. but I'm stronger now than I was then. Okay. I am healthier now mm -hmm. than I was then. Mm -hmm. I understand more about what starts here mm -hmm. is what is how the body is. So it's more than just a look. It's yeah. not about a look. Mm -hmm. It's about um it's about that feeling. Yeah. And it's about your blood pressure. It's about mm -hmm. cholesterol. It's about those things. It's people will you know, I've had people try to argue me down about numbers on a scale and I don't think they always matter. Okay. The numbers That's on the scale, <laughs> yeah, the numbers on the scale mm -hmm. can help gauge things mm -hmm. and help you to figure things out. But as you know, because I've mentioned it before to you, I mm -hmm. believe in the power of a waist bead <laughs> instead of the instead of a scale. Because mm -hmm. for me, the waist beads around my waist lets me know, okay, now you're starting to, if it's tight, yeah, that's because okay, you 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 need to um you need to watch what you eat, yeah. Yeah. And it's a gauge, and it helps more than putting myself on a scale. Okay. The only time I get on a scale actually is when I go to a doctor's office. I'm so curious about waist beads. You brought that up. We've talked about it before. I have a very big waist, so I'm interested. But how does it work for for your daily li life and working out and all that stuff? Like, how does that work? Oh, I'm I just keep them on. Mine are on all the time. Mm -hmm. um, I set it for you know helping me to gauge where my my waist is but it's also you know it's sexy yeah and and to me sexy is such a state of mind mm -hmm. i am single so mm -hmm. it's not like i'm like oh i'm wearing it for my husband but you know what i'm feeling good mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. i'm feeling pretty sexy nice i'm feeling pretty great mm -hmm. so i'm learning that it's more about how i feel not in a selfish way at all mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but if you're feeling good about yourself you want to treat yourself well yes you know, you want to put the right foods into your body. Mm -hmm. And sometimes that means pizza. Sometimes it does mean pizza. <laughs> I mean, generally for me, it means salads and homemade soups and things mm -hmm. like that. But mm -hmm. it does sometimes mean, okay, you know what? It's Friday. I would love a good glass or bottle of <laughs> Prosecco <laughs> and some, some uh, brick oven pizza or something. <laughs> But it's really about loving yourself to the point where you treat yourself well. Awesome. And okay. that that is my journey into the business. That's how I approach. So I gave you all that because that's how the approach is in my business. Awesome. So 
with your business, you include a lot of travel. And I see you have some things planned coming up. So talk a little bit about your um, travel, yoga, wine and yoga, yoga, so, yoga uh, vineyard, like so, all these things you have. Talk about that for a bit. I definitely will, because that's all a part of wellness to me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wellness means getting outside of your comfort zone and living life. Yeah. So my company, it's a yoga, dance, and whole body experience. So the whole body thing, that's uh, Pilates, because I still do Pilates. I love Pilates. Mm -hmm. But the whole body part is, um, it's, it includes travel. It's mostly travel, though. Okay. And I say that because we do yoga. Mm -hmm. We do dance. Mm -hmm. We go, but we do it wherever we are. Okay. So whatever country we're going to, no matter what, Mm -hmm. We're always dancing. We're always doing some yoga. Mm -hmm. Got to eat because you got to learn about the culture and stuff yeah. like that. Mm -hmm. So doing all of those different things. Um, we so far have been to Panama, Costa Rica, the Maldives, Belize, Cuba, oh, wow. Egypt, Morocco, France. That's awesome. <laughs> I may be forgetting some places, but so that's far a, that's, that's where like a lifetime's worth Cuba. Of say Cuba. <laughs> but now um I have a yoga and wine slumber party, I guess I'll call it. Okay. Uh the second week in November. Uh -huh. So it's a Saturday into Sunday. We're spending the whole day going through vineyards. Okay. Um, cool. I just did one in the Poconos because I, I was. It's hard to do things now, obviously. Yeah. Um, but I did find a way to go about it. You know, everyone finds their own way there. Yeah. And you have your own rooms. Yeah. So you know, there's still a safe way to get outside of your your box because mm -hmm. we need to get outside of our boxes. I think mm -hmm. right now. Mm -hmm. Um. So with yeah. that trip, how can people um? express their interest by a ticket however uh, register how do, how can they do that if you go to empower fit chick i have a link mm -hmm. um in my profile mm -hmm. and it says retreats so you oh. click on retreats in the link in my profile uh -huh. well you click on the profile the link tree mm -hmm. and it'll say retreats boom you go right in there awesome hey natalie hey everybody thanks for watching oh We're yes hey everyone that's coming in thank you <laughs> we're talking to latifa fleming she is the empower fit chick and she is talking about um being a yogapreneur a travelpreneur um fitnesspreneur all the preneurs <laughs> and she's I love also it. based in inglewood right uh i'm in hackensack okay. but i have done i actually i've done stuff in inglewood though so awesome yeah. Awesome. So um, I'm going to ask you about your experience in Bergen County, and then we're just going to get into, like, whatever poses um, I can handle. <laughs> I, have mat, I have my mat. I'm on the floor. I'm in child's pose. So I'm okay. I'm doing it. <laughs> so how has your experience been? Um, you have a partnership with Lululemon. And yes. you are featured at the American Dream Mall right now. And then you have been doing, you know, courses and programs here in Bergen County for, for several years. So tell us about your Bergen County experience real quick. Uh, let's see. Um, mm, for Bergen County, it's, let's see, I, my fitness, um, my fitness and wellness administrative stuff blew up here in Bergen County. Mm -hmm. So I have been the um, fitness director or manager at the Glen Point Spawn Fitness or Spa Glen Point, which it was back then. Um, um, hey, so I'm just saying hi to everyone. Yeah, um, I'm just like, and I know, and I don't have my reading glasses on, so it's like, it's good. Um, it's, uh, I've also been with um, uh, the YWCA friend, of yes. Bergen County. Now it's mm -hmm. YWCA of Northern New Jersey. Um, so I've been blessed that I've been able to do. To, to be a, I've been blessed that I've been able to be part of the administrative part. Mm -hmm. For me, that's because I like to mentor as well. Mm -hmm. So, um, and create actual, true, real diversity, not just, oh, we put one person in, so we're diverse. It's like, no, that's, that's it's different. <laughs> it's real, true, honest to God yeah. representation. Mm -hmm. So I, um, my journey here has been of, 
making sure I represent on all levels, not okay. just putting my body in that space, mm -hmm. my body, my skin, my hair, I'm putting all of this in that space. Mm -hmm. It's about making sure I bring people with me. Awesome, awesome. So my experience here has been incredible because I've also taught in a million places. Uh -huh. It was at the, the gym in Inglewood forever. Um, a lot. <laughs> I'm sorry, because I'll start name I, I'll forget. So <laughs> it's just been a lot of different places that I've taught in. And it's been, it's been an experience, mm -hmm. you know, it's, um, and I won't say good or bad and nothing bad, mm -hmm. but it's more just sometimes I forget that I, not forget, I, sometimes I'm more than just the teacher. Yeah. I really am representing. Mm -hmm. Um. I'm representing my morals and my values. Mm -hmm. One, because I spoke about those a little while ago, like mm -hmm. it's wellness. Mm -hmm. um, I represent the bodies that felt they had no space, no place in these spaces. Um, I, I represent colors that felt they weren't my, my peoples, especially that we weren't meant to be in these places. Yeah. And for me, um, you know, sometimes I put too much in my head, and, and when I'm in front of a room, it's not just, okay, everybody move. Yeah, and move. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, okay, I'm saying and move and move, but I'm like, wait, I need y'all yeah. to actually see me. Yeah. I need you to understand that there's a place for folks who look like this and who yeah. don't look like this. And they need people to understand there's a space and people who look like me to see me mm -hmm. and make sure that they know this is for you too. That's all. Well, you know, that was part of the reason, too, why Bergen and Color was made, because it's like, hey, we're here. Hello, we're here. So Hello. we have live. Yeah. We have, it's not just we're here as in people in a picture with, you know, in a static picture. We are here with full lives, a full lifestyle. We have jobs. We have careers. We have children. We have, you know, our churches and places of worship. We have a full life here in Bergen County yes. as well. So I think... I, I totally understand where, you know, when you're in a space, you want to be more than just, we check this off of a box, we have a black woman. No, it's like this right. black woman comes with so much fullness, um, yeah. and we represent so much fullness outside of just being a, a checkbox on a, on a form. All right, so before we get yes. into our poses, I'm going to remind everybody, we got shirts. We yeah, got shirts. We, we got shirts. Y'all, hey, vote hey. New Jersey, vote. <laughs> so... If you want a shirt, go ahead and DM me. Um, shirts are $25. We also have vote masks. And these are actually free because I want people to just tell the spread the word about voting. Um, DM me. They're not delivery, though. You have to just see me when you see me. Um, we can make arrangements to get these to you. But uh, for uh, shirts, they can be delivered. Just DM me at Bergen and Color. All right. So anything else before we get into uh, these moves? <laughs> um, don't forget to check out my, to go into my link tree and my profiles so that you can check out all the things I have. I do classes online. Mm -hmm. I have yoga classes online, Pilates classes. I have a class called Yoga Bar and Booty. Oh, I need that oh. class. I need, I and, and my classes are only 30 minutes. I believe in making sure we have no excuses. Okay. We have to be healthy, especially our people. We got to be healthy. We got to be strong. Mm -hmm. We have work to do yeah and we can't get the work done we can't keep this journey we can't keep the fight going we can't revolutionize we can't do anything unless we're strong and we're healthy amen and so, honestly this is the wake up call we all needed to get ourselves together so thank yeah. you for your work in getting us all to together you know physically and mentally all right so let's yeah. let's do it let me um so let me just i'm gonna preface this Mm -hmm. Hey, she, oh, someone loves your lip color. Hey, oh, hey. gosh. I'm, um, I'm trying to coordinate. This is my black owned brand called The Lip Bar. Black owned. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> I love them. I okay. love them. <laughs> um, so, what I'm going to do is I like doing sun salutations and I like leaving people do sun salutations because okay. you can so, take. I'm just adjusting while, my while, yeah, while you're adjusting. Because you can take sun salutations anywhere. They help loosen up the muscles. They help relax the joints. Um, it helps to strengthen you. It helps to stretch you out. So you gain strength. You gain flexibility. Okay. Um, 
And when you do it and you continuously do it, it helps with um, relaxing the mind. So you can relax the mind. It's a good way to really get in touch with your body mm -hmm. and a good way to link the breath with movement. It is meditation in motion. Okay. I'm going to be yapping all the way through, so probably won't feel too meditative. <laughs> but okay. you'll get the point. Everybody focus on the bottom half. Do not look at the top half. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to I'm going to go through it once, um, once or twice. Just go through a little slow. Okay. Everybody's going to be seeing on my mat. So I'm going to go through it slowly and then just have us move so you can really understand how, it, how the body feels. And, and I'm going to do Sun Salutation A, Surya Namaskar A. Okay. Okay. And the modified version. Okay. Okay. Remember, so, everybody look below. Don't look up. Don't look below. <laughs> <laughs> so... Yoga, with any practice that I do, I always tell people to start with the breath. The breath is so important. Um, I do breath work in a bigger class and a longer class, but the breath is so important. It's life force, it's pranayama. So, it, and it helps to relax the mind. So just to get your mind on the mat, that's how people stand in mountain pose. So this is mountain pose, I'll start from here. Okay. This is mountain. Your feet are about hip width apart, sometimes feet all the way together. Nice and strong with those arms. So you're rotating outward at the shoulders, palms facing forward, but you are active here. So you start here, you take a nice big breath. While you are here, you inhale nice and deep. And then breathe it all out, exhale. And again, inhale. Breathe, exhale. So I'm gonna lead you through two more. I want you to fill up your belly with breath. So inhale, expand the belly. I got a big belly. Exhale. Breathe it out. One more time. Inhale. And then exhale. So, mountain. From mountain, stretch the arms all the way up. Make sure you are grounded. So I don't want you to lift your feet or anything. You stay grounded. You're stretching the arms up. This is usually your inhale. So the arms are stretched and strong. Now, Open the arms. I like to circle the arms. So I circle them down. So you open the arms. Slight bend to those knees. And this is forward fold. So I want your knees bent, especially because we're just starting. So your knees have to be bent a little bit. You're bringing your belly towards your thighs. And relax your head. You don't want to bring any tension into forward fold. So forward fold is also nice to stretch out the lower back and your hamstrings. It's so good. And with your head below your heart, it is an inversion. So it's not just about handstands. Those aren't the only inversions. This is an inversion. Inversions are good for um, anxiety, depression, and clarity. Okay? So forward fold. Half lift. So that's a half lift, meaning flat back. So I want you to bring your hands to your thighs or your shin. Your shins are right below your knees. Legs are as straight as you can get them and you're flattening your back. Now you should be looking towards the front edge of your mat. Okay. So your back should, yeah. I know you told nobody to look up there, but your back looks good there. Okay. okay so <laughs> flat back here. So this is your half lift. Okay. Now, Downward facing dog. So downward facing dog, you're going to bring your hands to the mat, bend your knees until your hands come to the mat, and then step your feet back to downward facing dog. Downward facing dog, I call it upside down B, or I like to say buns to the sun. So your booty's up. Hands are nice and strong on the mat. Mm -hmm. Your heels do not have to touch the mat. You just want to press them down. Okay. Okie dokie, come into a plank. So in a plank, <laughs> now yes. this work gets ugly. <laughs> <laughs> so if the plank is not your cup of tea, tap your knees down to the mat. So if you look at me, uh -huh. my knees are tapped down to the mat, but you're still in a plank. Now your next thing is chest and chin down to the mat. So bring your chest and chin to the mat. I want you to hold here. 
Your elbows are in towards your sides and then up to the show and then to the ceiling. There's a little space under your hips. Now flatten the whole body and then lift your heart. This is your baby cobra. So while you are in cobra, you're drawing the shoulder blades together uh -huh. and you're lifting the upper body just a little bit. Don't stretch up too much. Okay. Now press the hands into the mat. Push into tabletop, and then lift your knees, downward facing dog. Woo, okay. Yes, <laughs> walk the feet <laughs> forward. Yeah, here's forward fold. So in forward fold, you got that slight bend to the knees again. Okay. Now kind of lift, so flatten your back here for that half lift. Nice flat back, and then fold again. And then roll all the way up. So when you come up, you roll up. When you come up, stretch those arms to the sky. Okay. <laughs> By your sides. I did it. <laughs> We're going to do that again. Oh, Lord. Okay, let's do it. Let me put my pants on. Okay. Right. So you ready? Yes. Okay, here we go. Inhale the arms all the way up. Open the arms, exhale, dive forward, forward, fold. Half lift, inhale, lengthen the spine, so that's that tabletop. Downward facing dog, that's exhale. Inhale, come into a plank. Ah. Don't worry, exhale, knees, check, and chin to the back. Keep those hips slightly lifted. Now flatten your body, lift your heart. That's your cobra, that's your inhale. On your exhale, make your way to downward facing dog. Push through tabletop. Now inhale, start walking the feet forward. Forward fold. Inhale, half lift, lengthen the spine, flat back. Exhale, fold. Now roll it all the way up. Inhale, bring your arms to the sky. Hey, she's up! Exhale. Hey. Oh, <laughs> I did it. <laughs> so okay. you would do that. <laughs> Sorry, you are the mic. So you would do that a bunch of times. I would suggest doing that like five or six times. Okay. All in a row. And then you, you see your body feels kind of alive right now. See? <laughs> Body's so feeling alive, like right? Yeah. Awesome. Thank you so much, Latifah. Oh, okay. honey, thank you. So, so tell us one more time where we can find you, where we can um, connect with you, your classes, your travel, all that. And Blue and Lemon. Pow Power Fit Chick. Um, you can go on and look, check me out and go into my link tree and find out all the different things I do from the retreats. By the way, next year we've got Tanzania. Morocco, the Maldives, Cuba. Nice. It's okay. There's another one, but it's all it's there. Um, nice. Thank you guys. So it's uh, it's um, so that's where we'll be going next year, and then next month it's yoga and wine. It's a slumber party. Yeah. It's upstate. It's in Peekskill. It's fast. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. I'm also doing my classes online, mm -hmm. and if you go to the Lululemon store in um, American Dream Mall. Mm -hmm. You'll see my picture, and if you mm -hmm. see my picture, I would love for you all to take a picture underneath and and post it and tag me. Okay. I would absolutely love that, and I am so proud to be able to represent everywhere I go. I okay. step in the room. Trust me, y'all. I'm representing. I tell everybody, I don't speak for every black person on the planet, but when I walk into the room, everybody thinks I represent every black person. Good, on the good, good, awesome. So, um. Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, Natalie says, look out for the whole woman. Hopefully you can, uh, you guys can connect soon as well. Um, so I would love that, sis. Yeah, we'll be in touch as far as things in the future, because again, we need to really put an effort on getting ourselves in shape, myself included, um, because, you know, as, we, as we've seen through COVID-19 and everything like that, health is well. All of yes, the plans that we have can't be done if we are sick, if we are dead. So... Um, we yep. have to really just like make it more for people like me. I'm speaking for myself. We have to make more of an effort to get ourselves healthy. And so, thank you, yes. Dr. Mark Latifa. 
Thank you. And Severa's, and she's going to be on my show November 8th. So yes. my show is Motivating the Motivator. Yes, yes. Sundays at noon. <laughs> All right, y'all. So we're going to go ahead and, and uh, log off for just a second. Remember yes. that this is going to be um, aired on the Inglewood Virtual Recreation page. Follow them at Inglewood VR, and you'll see us and lots of other um, amazing shows and tutoring and boot camps and DJ talks awesome on the stuff. weekends. Lots of fun stuff for Inglewood and Bergen County residents or anybody. Just, just, log just in come in, right? Also, right. if you want a mask, DM me, and we can make arrangements for pickup. If you want a shirt, they are $25. Woo. Yes, yes. And um, they, those will be delivered. Um, just uh, DM me as well. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you. Oh, oh empowerfitwellness.com. Empowerfitwellness.com. Sorry. Say that again. Say that one more time. Empowerfitwellness.com. Awesome. Thank you guys for watching Bergen in Color, the weekend blueprint, as we always, always, always connect you to the diversity of Bergen County and beyond. I'm out of breath. Thank you so much, Latifa. <laughs> Thanks for everybody for watching today. Have a good one. Have a good weekend. Bye. Bye.